Okay, I'm gonna move you a little bit. There we go, this layer. All right, now we go. Uh, now this is the, going to be the legs, obviously, and that's why we do what we do sometimes. And the, the reason I wanted to lock tight all of it together is simple. This is the double-ended one here. So you might have wondered I didn't do a little corner break. Well, I'm gonna cut all this off. Like that hole went all the way through, but again, that's going to be set on the floor on the table, so that's going to be a non-problem. So we're going to go take us an OD cut. Now the reason I'm doing it this way is so everything will be in one plane. And it's just, we're just going to make them somewhere around 750 or so. So I'm at 910. If I get them around 750, 800, that'll be cool. Whatever I turn this into, I'm going to set a zero. That's going to be it. That's 850. I want to go a little more. Whatever this is, it's going to probably be it. 810. That looks good enough. See, I don't really care about having that little hole in the bottom. Uh, as long as I got a hole in the other end. <laughs> but that's going to be my leg right there. So let me cut this sucker off when we want it. Welcome, this is Jim Deadman Saw Logs Plastic Hubs. Welcome to my humble shop. I hope you already found that easy chair to pull up, set down in, because I've got a video for you. Um, I have some audio issues. I had to reshoot the opening. Uh, today's project is a mini wine stopper rack that I'm building for my our home to put decorative wine stoppers in. I've done one of these before, but I thought it'd just be good to revisit it in a smaller form. Uh, something I've done. It's going to be a shorter video. So basically, what you're going to see today is start to finish on the using the same materials and kind of some of the tips and tricks and some things I had to get a hold of. Uh, so I hope you enjoy that. This is give you something else. You know, it's one of the little decorative things that I do quite often here in the shop. So uh, I want you to uh, set back. Enjoy the video, and uh, hopefully, if you may not learn something, maybe it's good entertainment position anyway. Thank you. Well, the man in the clown suit visited us, and I had to start over because I just flat had a real bozo moment on this one. Now, this is going to be a little smaller than the one I've done previously. Basically, the same concepts. So let's get some figuring going. Now I've got all my dimensions written down, so I put the uh, program numbers in. One of the things you got to remember is if you set your zeros, you normally work right to left. 
In this case, I wasn't thinking it set everything up to work right, um, right, I mean, excuse me, yeah, right to left. Now I won't work left to right, which will be negative. So when I put my chord number in for my positioning, for my, for this, I have to put it in as a negative. And then when I do the back side, I'll change it. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to put two holes in the, and I'll, I'll come back and tell you, but let me start over. And I've got these two holes here. Now we're going to put the three across the back. <laughs> it's kind of a slow process because of the, the carol. It's, it's hard to pick it out. What I, what's really working the best is just taking the, taking the tool out and literally... Alright, there we go. This is the plate. It's drilled, laid out, and it's ready to go. Alright, folks. Another piece for the slot. Now, I'm working on a project. I'm running into this today. Uh, these are brass 1032 screws, one inch. Uh, and the reason I'm mentioning this right now is because I had to stop and go get some because I was out. So I just had a few. I picked up the little packages of hardware. Very expensive. I'm lucky that we have a, a bolt supplier that just, you know, has a sales counter. I call them, ask them if they have any brass screws here locally, yes. Like three or four bucks. Most of the times you get them cash. And there's 20 in here. That'll do me for a good long while. So, you know, if you have a local bolt supplier, be friends with them. They come in handy. Get enough of stuff you normally use to keep. You know, some guys, they have complete bolt cabinets. Well, I don't feel like that's a little bit overkill for my shop, but I like to keep on hand stuff like 1032 is something I use a lot. Make a lot of thumb screws and stuff. So there we go. I actually had probably done this to make some other ones of these. So I'm, I'm in good shape. I've got my top piece right now. So I've already got this. So let me zoom you in a little bit. Since I've already got this together here and already have the... Uh, uh, Brass. No, I'm gonna go ahead and just drill me a nice deep hole. And we're gonna tap this sucker right fast. And uh, so we'll have our tops. Uh, you know, I'm making thumb screws, so obviously. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need most of this. I'm gonna try to drill as deep as I can. I'm not gonna bore you with a lot of drilling. Hey, I'm gonna go. Excuse me. I'm gonna go in. Uh, we're just gonna make this a little smaller. I'm gonna decide here real quick what this looks good, and then that's gonna be the size. And then we're going to just whack them off. All right. <coughs> That's uh, about good enough right there we're going to just take us a file now we're going to chamfer these and uh, try this new chamfer tool <coughs> We're going to go back and we're going to actually see how many this about that. Yeah. <coughs> 
And then we'll put the cutoff tool in there and we'll cut it right off the, right there in that spot that we chamfered off and then we'll make some more. <coughs> and it's just a sample matter. Okay. I'm going to go. <coughs> There we go. Hello, I hope you enjoyed the wine stopper video. And uh, with no further ado, we're going to go ahead and move on to the business end of this. Uh, business end is hey, this is a copyright production. James Deadman, Sawlogs Plastic Cups your entertainment education and enjoyment here on YouTube and uh, with that being said I appreciate you watching my video today if you're not already there's a red right under the video in the small print there's a red line that says subscribe please hit that for me I could I can always use your, your subscription and there's also the opportunity to make comments on my videos uh, I've been having some sound trouble lately and some of my good viewers let me know about it so how about being nice and putting them comments and speak up and I'll, we'll get back to you. Yeah, that's the beauty of, of YouTube is the interaction. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video on the uh, Wine Stopper and we will see you in that next video. Have a great day.